Are you listening? Pay attention! Looks like we're all here. Hold on, it's still too early for us to head to the... Hold on, it's still... Okay, let's get going. Alice. But why? Don't we just gotta steal that treasure thing? Don't underestimate the dangers of that place. We need to prepare. Ain't that persona shit we got enough to deal with it? That's exactly what I mean when I say don't underestimate it. You'll die if you mess up in there. So again, we need to prepare before we head in. But... how exactly are we supposed to do that? I'm glad you asked, Lady On. First, we'll need to find better equipment for all of you. You talking about weapons? Oh, I know a kick-ass place. In that case, you can handle that side of things. The only other thing would be stocking up on medicine. Fatigue is unavoidable in a palace. And where can we get medicine? Don't worry, I know just the place. I hope you look forward to it, Lady On. Now then, he and I have some business in Yongen, so let's head off for today. Just come with me. I won't be able to get close enough by myself. Can I talk? Actually, hey! This is the clinic that the chief mentioned. Now, how can we get them to give us some medicine? Well, I guess that's the only choice we have. We'll just have to go for it. All right, let's step inside. Well... Please head to the exam room. In a case like yours, it's usually just due to stress. I'm gonna prescribe you some pain relievers, okay? Actually, I still need to restock those. So let's go with sleeping pills instead. Sleep is the best medicine anyway. Which type of pill do you want? A sweet tasting one or a bitter one? Is that right? And I bet you think you should have a year-long supply of them, too. You're not sick at all, are you? I'm not as dumb as I look, you know. I'm guessing you're here because you heard the rumors about me, hmm? You're one of those patients with an ulterior motive, huh? What's the world coming to? I guess high school kids have it tough nowadays, too, huh? Well, fine. I'll prescribe you some medication. But, only medication that will help you recover your health. I guess it's fine. You seem pretty earnest. And you don't look like you'll be any trouble. This is my private practice. All the medicine I dispense is original. I have a license to make my own formulas. You've likely seen them being sold at various hospitals. 
It's your responsibility to take care of yourself. So, if that's okay with you, stop by any time. Great. It's nice that you're so quick on the uptake. Saves me the hassle. You're a pretty weird kid, you know? I wonder what you're going to use the medicine for. Well, as long as you don't cause me any trouble, it's not my problem. Okay, which one? You want that one? Thanks. That should work. Here you go. Take care. Everyone, wake up! This country is twisted. They have no jobs, no savings, no financial security whatsoever. These young people should be tackling their futures head on, but instead, they're too busy merely trying to survive. People give speeches all the time. Plus, politics are pretty boring anyways. Shop can be pretty confusing to find sometimes. Hey, hey! Mm. Hey! Okay, let's go. Before we head in, you know anything about guns and shit? Nah, I guess we can just ask the guy behind the counter if we can't figure out what we want. Come on, let's do this. <laughs> you looking for recommendations? I don't know, just buy whatever looks interesting to you. Ugh, some customer service. Fine, what do you want? An automatic? A revolver? Uh, automatic? Dude, why are you talking about cars now? Listen, this here's an enthusiast shop. My regulars will be mad if I let a casual like you hang around. I'm not a freaking casual. I bought shit from here like last week. Uh, can't remember you. You... Bastard. And you, looking for something? Oh, you a collector? 
You're way more interested than Blondie over there. Oh, shut it! Anyways, you should have said before you two are enthusiasts. I'm always up for helping fresh faces. Some precautions first, though. Don't go around- Oh, and don't let the fuzz catch wind of- Don't go around pointing them at other people. Keep them in a bag or something if you're outside. Oh, and don't let the fuzz catch wind of you having them. I don't need them coming around here. You having them. You damn well better be. Now, if you look close, you'll be able to tell these are models. Real guns feel... different. Maybe... Maybe someday I'll show you the real good stuff, though. If you got the guts for it, of course. But for now, you get the beginner selection. Just sit tight. I'll bring him out. But for now... <laughs> we did it, dude. We totally gotta go for some fancy shit, right? Oh, I want him to shine. Oh, and here's the cash for mine. Pick me out something good. Okay, all right, which one? All right, sounds good. That's what you're too better not use it to pull a prank. All right, which one? Sounds good. Hmm, that don't break it, okay? All right, which one, huh? Too better not use it to pull a prank. Okay. Sounds good. All right, which one? Sounds good. All right, which one? All right, sounds good. That's what you're choosing? You change your mind? Hmm, but don't break it, okay? All right, which one, huh? Do you like it? Sounds good, huh? You better not use it to pull a prank. All right, which one, huh? Don't break it, okay? Uh, come again. Later. Did you hear? Apparently that subway driver from the accident was acting really odd during his testimony hearing. You talking about that psychotic whatever thing people are going on about? Yeah, I heard it completely alters your personality. The news is saying the driver couldn't even speak when they tried asking him questions. Only an idiot would believe a preposterous story like that. Oh, sorry, but we're closing soon. <laughs> How rude. This must be why you don't get many customers. Your coffee's actually not half bad. The beans must be lamenting the sorry state of this store. Thanks for stopping in. Please come again. <laughs> I'm only trying to help you fix your business. Thanks for the coffee, at least. Jeez, what a pain. Oh, what do you want? If you're bored, go wash some dishes or something. doesn't concern you. It's all good as long as the shop doesn't fail. I'm not gonna go wearing a fake smile. No, it's nothing like that. As long as I'm here, the world leaves me be. No annoyances or troublesome people to deal with. It's like my own personal hideaway. I'd be kind of screwed if I lost it. But I guess you would be too. So you better at least try and be useful around here. Anyway, I'm leaving now. Don't cause any trouble. We're just a we just need to assemble some infiltration tools. Clean off that desk back there so we can use it. Great. Now
now you can make things whenever you want. I'll provide the materials this time. Try making a lockpick. Don't think too hard about it. You'll get the hang of it. What's up? Everyone's... Great. We should be able to use this. Yeah. We should be ready now. We're heading into the palace tomorrow. Let's get some sleep. Good morning. Come on, hurry up and get to class. Good morning. That admirable behavior won't do you any good once you're expelled. Well, that wraps up the homeroom period. <clears throat> A word with you, please? There's something I'd like to ask you. It won't take long. I see you're already getting on top of the problem I'd mentioned this morning, Miss Kawakami. I appreciate the support. Thank you again. Oh, you know this guy, Yoshizawa? Yes, he lent me a helping hand earlier. I recommend you steer clear of the likes of him if you have any consideration for your future. Remember the discussion we just had? There are a number of students in this school you shouldn't get involved with. This one's at the top of the list. Oh, the delinquent transfer student? Sorry to interrupt, but I need to use the guidance office. Oh, pardon me. We should be going too. Don't want to get in the way of guiding this delinquent and all. Please excuse us. After you. I'm gonna get straight to the point. Did something happen between you and Mr. Kamoshida? <laughs> I don't think so. Especially after that little exchange just now. He gave me a brief lecture this morning and your name came up. Something about the dangers of a lack of supervision. <laughs> I don't mean to pry, but just make sure you don't go causing trouble, okay? Oh, and one more thing. That girl outside the office? You didn't make a pass at her, did you? All right. Mr. Kamoshida has a real close eye on you. Apparently, you've been getting involved with Sakamoto-kun. You seem acquainted with Yoshizawa-san as well. Maybe you're just naturally drawn to athletes? Sorry, bad joke. That's all I wanted to discuss. You're free to go.
what would you like? I get you. Welcome. Well... Please head to the exam room. Okay, which one? Take care. Hmm? Huh? trying to do Huh
Take care. Change your mind? Good evening. Do you remember anything from the moment you took the medicine until now? Hmm. By the look in your eyes, I'd say you don't. You briefly woke from your coma, but you were completely dazed during the entire examination. You eventually lost consciousness and fell back asleep. Are you out of your mind? Only an idiot would have drank that. Fine. By the way, the reason you lost consciousness was because of the taste. It produces a foul smell when it mixes with gastric juices, similar to Sir Stroming. Oh well, all that matters is that thanks to you, I was able to get some good data. Okay, it's my turn to make good on my part of the deal. That's why I waited until you woke up. I don't want the general public to know about my original medicines. So, you're strictly prohibited from disclosing what happens here to anyone. Understood? Then it's a deal. As long as you come here for it, I'll give you the medicine at a good price whenever you want. I may even add additional selections in time. I look forward to your continued patronage. Considering all the actions you've taken, you must have had someone with medical expertise. Who? And how did you treat your wounds? It'll be easy to find out who if we look into this, you know. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the death persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. All right. So, when can you come back for the next clinical trial? Oh, you don't remember that part either? Well, I was saying that teenage test subjects are quite valuable in the medical research industry. So I'll provide you the medicine for your entrance exams, and in exchange, you'll be my guinea pig. I have to perfect this medicine. If you're able to move now, you can go home. All right, take care. care. Hey. Uh-huh. 